in honor of World Backup Day, I want to show you a couple of quick ways to do backups in Sage 300. So if you're doing a one-off and you log in as your admin user to your company, you can go to Administrative Services and you can do a database dump. Database dump is just an application level backup. I can choose my, my company. I can choose the destination of where I want my backup to be. So I'm doing a backup today. So I'm going to give it today's date. Dash. Dump. And this basically exports all of my data from my Sage 300 as a, an application level out of Sage 300 onto files on my, on my computer, on my network. And this is a, a full backup of this entire company. And so I can go one by one through the companies and I can do a backup. And this is an application level backup of Sage 300. And so if I've got more than one company, so I've got sample company and I've got sample limited, I would go through each of these companies and I would back them up one at a time and I would export that data. So that works great if you're doing a one-time backup. If you're not an IT person, you don't have access to the SQL server, because this data all lives inside of the SQL server, and you have only access to Sage, this is a perfect way to get a backup. So if you're worried you're not getting a backup, or you need to do a backup before a big update, that's the perfect way to do it. If you have access to SQL, SQL is always the best way to make your backup. It's, it's fast, it's quick, it's reliable. Um, you can do a one-off backup by right-clicking on the database, going to Tasks, and then Backup. When you come over here, it's going to ask you for a location. You can give it a different location or specify that location and then say, OK, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to pick up this database. You can see it's much quicker when we do it at a database level than if we do it at an application level. But if you don't have a, a backup, if you're not doing a one-off backup. You really need to be doing a nightly backup. That's what we recommend. That's best practices. And you can do that with your SQL Server. If you go into your SQL Management Studio, where I am here, underneath the, the database, if you go down a little bit farther, there is a section under Management, Maintenance Plans. If you right-click on Maintenance Plans, the Plan Wizard is the fastest and easiest way to set up a backup. So I'm going to say Next. I'm going to pick a schedule. So I'm going to say Change. I'm going to say My Maintenance Plan Backup Schedule. And I'm going to say this is going to do Daily and Oh, we do 1 a.m. And I'll say OK. And I'm going to say Next. And what do I want to do? I want to do a full backup. And I'm going to say Next. Next. What do I want to back up? Which databases? So I want to back up my Sage companies, Sam Inc., Sam LTD. If you're not sure, you can always look in your, in your Sage settings. When I go back to my application here, and I looked at my database dump, you could, you could see that here this portion here, this is the name of the, of the database. So I'm going to go back here and say I'm going to back up my Sam Inc., Sam LTD, and I also want to back up this system database. This has some security information. If you're using multi-currency, it has multi-currency information. Oh, if you're not sure, you can also just say back up everything. That's the safe way to go. I could take up a little bit more space. And then I'm going to say if I want to set the destination, I can put in a different destination. And then under options, so you don't remove or fill up your entire hard drive, you might want to say, keep these for a week or keep these for two weeks. And I'm going to say next. And then it's going to send a report. You can also configure Outlook to send you an email so you know that it finishes every night. And then I say finish. And it's gone and it's set up a maintenance plan. And now SQL is scheduled. You can see under the maintenance plan, it's got a maintenance plan here. And every night it will go ahead at 1 a.m. and do a backup of the databases that I identified, which are my two Sage 300 databases. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to Acumen, call our support desk, or reach out to your candidate, our manager. Thanks for listening. Bye.